So today we're gonna put shatter baits versus soft baits and see what's gonna work best for pike and perch. This is up next. There we go, there we go. Nice perch, nice perch. <laughs> Holy shit! There we go, perch. There we go. How many perch of that size have you even heard of the last 10 years? One, two perch maybe. Good morning fellow pike and perch anglers and all other anglers around the world and welcome back to another video. Yeah. Today I actually left Miller back at the office again. He's still editing Perch Pro and we're out here having some fun. This is my good friend Martin Vosberg from the Gunky team. Hi guys. Very, very good angler and very, very good friend. Actually Martin and Miller were my best man on my wedding <laughs> last year. So yeah. Very, we, are we are close to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Good friend. Uh, super fun to be fishing again. Yeah. So what's the target, what's the goal of today? We're gonna fish perch and pike. And as always, we have a spicy challenge for you guys, which you probably already know about since you clicked on this video. We saw the thumbnail, we saw the title, but yeah. we're gonna do shadow baits versus, versus jigs. jigs, overall jigs. Yeah, and see the difference. Will we catch more fish or bigger fish on any of these lures? Yeah. Will there be diff different times of the day when one of them work better, etc., etc. We actually saw some fish hunting behind us here. We have back down the boat here, but. What do you think? We saw this perch out here. I think we should go and try some cast from the from the shoreline. Yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, they see. Yeah. They're really hunting. They, they are hunting right now. Yeah. So let's, we should let's, we let's, should run and take some cast for. Yeah, let's grab our rods and, and run there. I have this one pre-rigged flat nose baby dragon on my. Uh, then I took a shatter bait. Yeah, on my light saxa rod and Michelle reel. And you have the shatter bait. Yeah, I got okay. the shatter Okay, you, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> perch busters. <laughs> Okay, so we saw some perch hunting in the surface, right outside yeah. here, right? Yeah, you see, they are active right now, so... Oh, perfect. Behind you. No. Oh! oh. It got out again. That was a nice strike. Was that a perch? Yeah, it was perch. Think so? Perch. Nice there perch. we go, perch. perch. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice <laughs> Before, Ooh, really nice before even getting the boat into the water, this is just crazy. <laughs> Ooh, <that's crossed> out. <laughs> that's a really nice, nice perch, one. look that's at that. One. Boom, first cast, first perch of the day, crazy. We haven't even got the boat in yet. No, we haven't even started and we're already have a perch like this. And you also <laughs> lost a nice one. Yeah, yeah. So first cast with this baby dragon offset rig. And boom, smacked it. How long do you think this is? 30 something? 35, yeah. 36 maybe. <laughs> That's crazy. So let's put it back. All right, so one oh soft baits versus shadow baits. But I mean, you lost that fish, so it could have been one one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, now they worked equally well. You made a few casts here, right? But we can do a few more, maybe. Yeah. Yep. Oh, had a bite, had a bite. No, oh, got one. Oh, my, missed it, missed it. Ah, uh, oh, got a bite? Yep. Careful, careful. On the drop. There we go. Oh, nice, nice bite. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Another nice little perch. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> I think we should release that one. Yep. Go to the boat and uh, cast from the other direction. Yeah, and get going from outside. Yeah. So second perch of the day, just like that. Again, this flat nose baby dragon slowly dragged on the bottom this time. It was a little bit more careful take. Feels like you, you covered the more active fish with the shadow bait and then I came after with this one. Caught some more small, but uh, Super. yeah. It's gonna be fun to see the difference today in size of fish, numbers, etc., etc. Oh, going back. Booyah. Yay. Okay, let's get this challenge rolling, let's for go. real. <laughs> okay, so that was such a good start yeah. to this challenge. 2-0 soft baits, but I think we're up for a good day. Yeah. We have very high pressure, good temperature, all the conditions are right, and yeah, now let's I see. can't wait to get the boat in the water. Let's do it. Let's do it. See you guys. So this is kind of early fall, late summer. 
fishing and we're in the archipelago of Stockholm so kind of our home waters so like we said the target of today is going to be both pike and perch yeah. but this spot where we're going to start is mainly perch, perch. I would say yeah. but yeah. then on the other spots we have a good chance of catching some nice uh, pike, pike as well, as well yeah. on the same tackle basically the shadow baits and, yeah. and jigs these uh, small harbors are really underrated when it comes to fishing spots yeah. here in Sweden not many people fish this kind of spots but if you go down to for example Holland or France etc many people fish these you know human made spots yeah. I am so extremely excited. <laughs> you saw again? That was a big fish. Just next to the bridge. Oh. Ooh, did you see that? Gonna keep keep rocking this one on this light saxo rod. So clear water. Nothing yet. Oh, gonna cast on the left side here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea actually. That's perfect. I think you're gonna catch one eye now. There we go. Oh, perfect. Right under that bridge. I cast behind you. Yep. Oop. We have no minimum size in this competition, so it's 3-0. There you go. Oh, yeah, I saw some perch. Oh, you, oh, you're there. I think that's roach. Oh, got oh, one, got oh, one. Nice, oh, nice, it. nice. Missed it again. Missed it, okay. yes. That was a really small one. Okay. This boomer is quite a large bait for perch. Yeah, exactly. So I think the ones you, you miss... Some bigger size to get them on the hook easier i guess we could also remove the trailer yeah there we go nice now i think it's more about the lure size actually oh. yeah so 4-0 in the perch game oh <laughs> got one that one nice i think this Good can one. be a pike <laughs> okay yeah, it sounded like a pike <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling we, we're gonna catch more pike. I think so as well. On the shadow baits today. <laughs> for sure. And the soft bait. That's gonna be fun to see what yeah, works yeah. best for the pike. Ooh. As you might have seen, me and me have been using shadow baits quite a lot this year. And it's a really, really fun lure type. Oh, oh. Quick release. Super quick release. Soon we're gonna move. Uh, change location and uh, maybe on that spot you can start with shadow bait yeah. and I put normal jigs. Sounds like a plan. What do you think? Yeah. 5 gram offset triggat and wire tuffs are ready for wasser. Yeah, man. Oh, you got Fish on. Pike on. Yeah, pike, yeah. I just said it. I have offset rig, I have 5 grams jig head and I have wire leaders. I'm all ready for the weed line. <laughs> and I had these guys in mind. <laughs> Small pike. So 1-1 one, one on the pike game. Ah, there we go. It's so nice to be using these wire leaders from darts. You can get them up here if you're interested. But then you are pike safe. Just like this. And my experience is that it doesn't really matter for the perch in most cases, at least not on my level that I can notice. I, I do catch perch with these guys as well. So there we go, first perch for soft baits. Nice. Nice. All right, so we're done on the first spot. Yeah. The activity is really good, the fish are biting, so we don't want to lose this uh, prime time on exactly. our good spots because yeah. this was just bonus. Yeah, th this was just bonus. Yeah, we, we saw the perch hunting in the surface, so thought it was a good idea to give it a try. Let's do it. Off the start. Yeah, off the start. On the new location, it's time for me to head over to Shadow Baits. I rigged up my bait casting combo on the way here. I like using bait casting when doing more of this power fishing. I'm gonna try a Shadow Bait that I've never actually tried before. This is the Gunky Boomer 14 gram head. I could fish it just like this. You can also put a trailer here on the, on the hook, which I'm gonna do with a flat nose dragon in matching colors. Keep those dark tones since we have this dark sky. All right, so there we go. 
If you haven't seen or used this lure type before, it's like an upside down crankbait. You have this uh, blade in the front, it will force the jig up and then you can let it sink on this tail and the skirt will work magic and then you can fish it and it, yeah, it just swims like crazy. So this new place for fishing is a big shallow bay basically, with lots of weed. What lure are you using now? The peps? I'm, no, I'm using Gunky Whiz with an ah. offset hook and a G-flip weight, 10 gram. So I can fish it a bit faster and get it down. So yeah, nice. This bait. So we will see. Start with that one anyway. Yeah. These shadow baits can also be fished statically as like a crankbait, or you can also actually twitch them a little bit, let them sink down yeah. to the bottom. Fish them more like a jig. Fish, fish on. Is it a nice one? Yeah, I think it's... Ah, uh, it's an okay perch. 20 centimeter. There oh, you go. Yeah, it was follow. Follow perch as well. following as well? Yep, yep. Oh, ah, oh, oh you had damn, one on Yeah, Saturday. really hard take. Cool. Really hard take. Okay. Oh, holy moly. Okay, on the gunky whiz. Okay, so we've yes. been fishing this uh, big shallow bay now for quite a while. Haven't found a perch until now. Yeah. Now we found the edge on the, on the bay, in the bay. I think that take I had was actually a good fish. Yeah, I, probably. <laughs> that fish took the paddle of my baby dragon. So this one goes to the recycling bin. I'm gonna bring it to the sport fishing fair in Sweden in March. And we're gonna recycle it, send it back to Sri Lanka and uh, make a new jig out of it. So if you also have some old broken plastic lures lying around, make sure to bring them to the fair and we will pay you in fish coins for our web shop. And yeah, use it to make new lures instead of throwing it away and burn it. Oh, fish on, Ooh, yeah, fish on, take, nice strike, and this is a better perch. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, Ooh, you see his follower? Oh Followers yeah. Followers, go with the shadow bait, go with the shadow bait. Come I on think there. this was the size that you had on yours. Yeah. Probably. I think so too. All right, that's a nice perch. Yeah, that's a beautiful perch. Bring it up. Okay. There you go, on the peps. Yeah, no, 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 on the whiz. Whiz? Oh. Yeah. There we go. Look at that one, so nice. There you go, that's a nice perch. I would say same size as the one I caught in the morning, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think your was slightly bigger. Yeah. But that doesn't matter, it is on jig and... Uh, one for the on. scoreboard. It's amazing. Nice. So beautiful fish. Yeah, cool. Oh, fish on, fish on. Fish on. Yeah, fish on again. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice one. I think this is bigger than the, than the first one. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is a good fish. Oh, follow her again. Follow her again. Oh, you can do nice, one. Martin. I'm so fun. The... They are super strong in warm water. I'm gonna show you the two combos I have been fishing today. I got a spinning version and a casting version. The spinning version is a Ganky Iron T Shooten series with a length of uh, 228 and a casting weight of 5 to 18 grams. Maximum casting weight of 25 grams. Really crisp, uh, sensitive rod uh, with a not too stiff uh, uh, tip. Uh, will not kill the action from the from the vibration bait, in this case a, a Gunky Boomer. Uh, on this I have a, a Gunky TH G reel, 2500, uh, with a slide braid line on it. So this is really nice all around rod for perch fishing. And then we have the casting rod, and it's a Gunky Shooten Iron T as well. A bit shorter, 210, casting weight 7 to 25 grams, with a maximum casting weight of 35 grams. Super light, super crisp, uh, super sensitive and also has a really nice backbone. So for big fish, this is a rod I really love to fish with. And both these rods and combos can be found in the Canada Goddess web shop, so you can hit the link up here. 
and you can see those combos perfectly matched together with the right line and right uh, size of the reel and everything. So hit the link up there. We'll also leave links in the description below. You can check them out after the video. Really good stuff. Det, det är mycket fisk kvar där. Det märker man direkt. Ja. De hugger, och de hugger direkt när det blir lite djupare. Fiskar du nära botten? Nära botten. Låt den sjunka lite ner. Det ska bli jävligt intressant nu. För du står med chatterbait. Och så står jag med jig Och kastar ut ett helt annat håll. Mm. Om jag nu vänder om och kastar ett kast hit och vi får fisk. Ja, då är det skillnad. Okej, okay, så so right now Pontus are casting on the direction where I caught the fish. Um, and we will give Shatterbait some uh, space and see if they hit the Shatterbait as well. He had a nice strike uh, at the beginning, but... They don't really seem to react the same way. There we go, there we go. Nice perch, nice perch. Can I take the camera? It might be pike. No, oh, it's a really nice perch, really nice perch. Net, 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 net. Like really nice perch. Bring it here, bring it here. Holy shit! That's 1.4, 1.5. That's a personal best. Yeah, that's a good That's 1.5. 1.4 What the heck? <laughs> What the heck is happening? <laughs> That's just crazy man <laughs> Oh, vilken fisk Oj, Det där är helt stört, det där är inte bara en sån här Det där är sjukt Holy moly What the heck happened there? I mean, you caught that perch. Yeah. I cast it out on the same place. Let the shadow bit sink to the bottom. I just started twitching a little bit, reeling, and then boom! I thought it was a pike there. Yeah. It was so heavy. Did you see that fight? That was crazy. And this uh, is a really nice perch. This is extremely nice perch. Just to be clear, this is in the Stockholm area. And perch like this, perch over one kilo is really big here. Yeah. This is not like Netherlands, not like southern Sweden. Exactly. This is a really big perch for being here. My personal best is 47 centimeters. Yeah. Um, one for 20. I think this might be bigger. This might we be. We don't know, but... We this might see. be in the same hoods. Yeah. So wow. cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Den här är sjuk alltså. Det är helt sjuk Det är som gör sig Guys, I don't think you believe what just happened or how big this fish is for being this water. This is just sick. This is a sick perch for being in the archipelago. We're gonna have a look at it. But this is a really big fish. I was just saying that it doesn't really seem that the perch are reacting the same way on the shadow baits like they're doing on the soft baits because we've been catching now how many fish on jig do we have? Five or six maybe. Yeah. Five, and, yeah. and not not even one perch on shadow bait until yeah. now. We have missed a few bites, we've had some contacts, but yeah, this is the first landed perch on shadow bait. And just like we said in the morning, we said that yeah, probably the jig is gonna work better, we're gonna catch more fish on the jig. Yeah but might catch the bigger one on shadow baits. Yeah, exactly. If we, if we find the right fish. And this is and what we this, have done. How many right fish now. this size have you seen in the archipelago of Stockholm? Not many. Maybe one. So these fish are really rare. Just have a look at this. That's insane. This is an insane perch. Let's look at this, Martin. <laughs> so big, so wide, so fat. <laughs> look at the back. Holy moly. On this uh, black and red boomer rigged with a flat nose baby dragon. I just wanted the colors to match and I just wanted this small tail to just, you know, be working on the drop. And, well, it worked. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna so put beautiful. this back to the net, unhook her, yeah. and uh, give her proper proper measurement. But this is just sick. We'll see if it is as big as we think. We might have got him fooled. I this think is... this one is 47, maybe. 48. <sighs> We will see. We will see. This is an old fish. This is a Just look at this. Moment of truth. 40. Ooh, it's close to 47. Yeah, not really 47. 46 and a half. Yeah, 46 and a half. 46 and a half. Let's, uh, let's weigh her. Yeah. Oh, look at this incredible perch. 46 and a half centimeters. Stockholm Archipelago perch. Super fat. That's insane. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's put it in Let's the bag. Okay, the scale is ready. Have you zeroed the scale? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Put down the camera. <laughs> Let's 
Stand still. Oh, okay, it's over 1.6, man. Are, are you for real? Oh, yeah, I'm for real. 1656. 1656. That's insane. <laughs> Stockholm Archipelago perk. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> One, six, five, six, uh, freaking. Uh, that's insane. <laughs> This is not supposed to happen. Uh, well, are you gonna scale it one more time? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, 1666. 6, 6. 1. 1.66. Is the weight of it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing Shadow Bait versus Soft Bait Challenge. And we're here with the first perch on Shadow Bait of the day. And it's a new personal best. Yeah. 166. 166. Six. That's insane. I, yeah. ah, okay, let, let, let's put it back. <laughs> Bye bye beautiful fish. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my new personal best perch during a challenge with Martin. Shadowbait, first fish of the day. This is as good as it absolutely gets and I'm absolutely lost for words. I just rigged this boomer on the way here with this dragon and first fish. I've said it a thousand times now but I can't believe the first fish was that size. And look at this, the colors are even matching with it, rod and reel and everything is just matching. Oh man, this is sick. I'm absolutely lost for words. I have no idea what to say. Other than I know one thing that we need to do. Long time followers of this channel know that we have a specific procedure when someone catches a new personal best and it's hiding inside this little box here. And it's called the personal best beef jerky. As teriyaki, as, teriyaki. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the teriyaki is the best one. Sound effects, get ready. Whenever you catch your personal best, you are allowed to open one of these bags. And I can tell you, I haven't opened one of these boxes in ages. The last time I caught a new personal best was three, four years ago, maybe. So this is a very, very big moment. And the golden bite. You want Martin? Yeah. Oh! oh. Ah, uh, I'm done. No matter how this challenge ends, the shadow bait is the winner. <laughs> it gave me personal best. Come over here and let's talk about it. Yep. Okay, so let's put this in the oh, thank you. In the, in the context of this challenge, I mean the shadow bait. Do you think you would have caught it on the soft bait, or do you think it was just a? Probably not. I don't think I I don't think that fish would have to, uh, taken the soft bait. Why is that? I mean. I I mean. This is this is a bay where there is quite many fishermen that are fishing, and um, most of, of the fishermen are using soft bait. And I think that kind of fish, one thing they are taking bigger baits, and the shutter bait are making a lot of vibration. Yeah, yeah. it's big, uh, a lot of movement in the water, so that's one reason. And also that fish are really, um, so to say, it's old uh, and know a lot of things. Probably that one will see the jig and don't bite the jig. I think it had never seen a shutter bait in this bay, maybe. Have, have you used shutter baits in the archipelago? I have never here? used uh, shutter bait here. I, I have used shutter bait in the archipelago, but not here. Yeah. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I think that one is a game changer for sure. Yeah, for the big fish. in some areas. I mean, yeah. in some yeah. areas where they haven't seen a single lure, then I mean, they, they will probably bite anything that moves. Yeah. But on these highly fish waters, it can really pay off to, yeah. to really stand out from what they've been seeing. They've seen your G-bump many times. Yeah, <laughs> they have, they have. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. yeah, make sure to try it out. This came out exactly as we planned. I mean, we didn't plan this size of the fish. Maybe no, no, like no. a top fish of one kilo yeah. maximum. Yeah. But, you know, to maybe being able to single out the bigger fish with these shadow bits. Yeah. And that's let's see. That, and that's what, what I mean. we did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have a few hours left yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, let's course. see. Yeah. Let's see how this continues. Maybe we catch a big fish on the soft bait and yeah. everything is just erased, yeah. all the theories. Yeah, <laughs> we will see. But, yeah. I, I, think this, I think this will be really hard to beat. This will be extremely hard to beat. It is a dream fish. In Stockholm, Archipelago, this is a huge fish. Yeah. So you, you can be proud. <laughs> I am proud. <laughs> But I don't feel like I deserve it that much, because I haven't been fighting these waters like yeah. you have. Oh, you are always catching them in team. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah that's your fish as well. Yeah. More than me. Oh. 
Okay, let's so, finish this yeah. bag, have a cup of coffee, and then keep fishing. Yeah, keep fishing. Yeah. Keep on fishing. Cool. Boom. <laughs> so here we have the excess material of, uh, of the last half hour. A brand new Boomer package and a personal best beef jerky bag. This is how it looks in the boat when you bring Boomers. And while I put on my GoPro, Martin realized that it's time for shadow bait for him. Yeah. <laughs> he was really he was really fast to put it on. <laughs> it's my turn to try. <laughs> so this one won't get another cast in uh, a little while, in one hour. So I'll put it over here and we will see here what we will use. Oh yeah, this one, the baby shark on the GTEx windlass hook. Okay, so let's start the timer again. It's only nine o'clock, man. We already have that result. Okay, so I'm gonna redo the same thing. With this it was so fun because you were crushing it on the soft bait yeah. i didn't get a single bite and we were, were ex just saying that well they don't seem to be reacting at all the oh. same way and then boom. the boom from hell really big fish. boom on the boomer coincidence or not no one can ever know but yeah. and that that's a lone uh, ranger for sure maybe it goes two and two but they are single fish yeah, these really big individu yeah. individuals. The first one on the on the on the on the jigs, they are are more like. There we go. Oh, nice. More oh, another nice perch. Not the same, but. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice perch. That's a nice one. I think it is a net perch, actually. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's a net perch. Oh, it is a killer fish. Killer fish again. <laughs> <laughs> holy, shit. holy, holy macaroni! Yeah, Keep fishing. Ah, uh, second. <laughs> Holy shit. Should I keep on fishing? Yeah, keep on fishing. We'll take that, this later. Completely smoked this baby shark. Look at this beautiful fish. Close to, uh, not really a kilo, I think. We're gonna. Yeah, incredible perch. Ja, ja, men det är alltså såna där stora borrar, då, då, då tror man att det är, är där, fisk, helt sjukt. Yes, with the shadow bait. There you go. <laughs> It's a small one. <laughs> In measurement of the previous. Oh, that one. <laughs> Quick release. <laughs> I think that one counts. Yeah. yeah. So now we have, was the that the second fish on shadow bait? And one pike also. On one pike, yeah, one pike. The shadow bait is working itself up. Ja, yeah, jajamän. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, first cast with this uh, baby dragon. Well, let's put it in the net. We can release them at the same time. Oh, that's a shadow bait timer. Time for Pontus to put on the shadow bait. Oh, no, fish on. <laughs> on the last cast. Still counts. Yep. Okay, so that's perch number nine for soft bait. On the last cast, that seems to be a thing. Catching perch on the last cast of the hour. Okay, this baby shark did the trick again. Bye bye. All right, so the bite slowed down. So it's time to release those two beauties, the ones we caught and put in the net. So really small one, big one. If we would have that 47 centimeter one, it would be the next step. Trip trap trull, as we say in Swedish. <laughs> so back you go with this. Let's uh, measure this one just yeah. for fun. Yeah, 42. 42, yeah. You, you kind of lose track of everything when you catch a super nice perch like that, the first one. But this is a super nice perch. One of the biggest ones I've caught this year. I haven't fished that much for perch. So this was really nice perch. Let's put it back. Back you go. Beautiful warrior. Look at it. There you go. Again on this baby shark. Sorry for giving you that song in your head. Apart from this one being just a funny looking lure with a funny name and a funny song. It's catching a lot of fish. And one cool feature that I like is this back fin. It's protecting the hook when you're using weedless like this. You know, the weed first glides off this fin before, you know, coming to this hook. But then the perch or pike comes like this and gets stuck very well. Now it's rigged on a gunky GTX 4.0 hook, I think, on a 12 gram. Yeah. yeah, perfect size, perfect setup for weedless fishing here in the grass. Yeah. So, super nice. Right, let's see. I think I'm gonna put on one of these Nettel Mini. I really like to use those curly tails on the shadow baits. And this one's quite subtle color, half transparent. It's called Frozen. Just look at this in the water. Fish on! Haha, <laughs> finally! Yep. 
There we go! Perch number three on Shadowbait. I just realized a few casts ago that, oh, that this uh, color combination actually looks like the famous red ghost. And we have some black, some red, and this uh, transparent rubber. So super nice. Back you go. It probably doesn't look like it, but the fishing is quite slow at the moment. Even the slowest of days, when you compress them to 10 minutes or five minutes, it looks like things are happening all the time, but we've been fishing for almost an hour now without too much at all. Coffee time. Coffee time. I forgot to bring a mug to you, but we can share. So we have a few more hours to fish, but not much more than that. We did an early morning trip today. I picked up Martin at half past three. Yeah. But then we had another plan to go to another place, so we spent two hours just... Driving around, trying to find a ramp. Looking for a place to put down the boat, you know. But uh, with no success, so we had to go back to safe grounds. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that paid off. <laughs> paid off. Obviously. So, so I'm so happy we didn't find a place to ramp the boat. There were those bars all, all over the place, and every ramp yeah. in the whole archipelago were these bars. So, yeah. But I'm happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> also be good. To be a really good day. Yeah. But there is uh, some hours left, so. Yeah, yeah. I think we can catch some, some more nice fish. I think so as well. Cool. Yeah. Changing time. Changing time again. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Was it a yeah, perch? It was a quite decent perch actually. Ooh. And I had some weed on it. Gonna go back to this spinning rod with a baby dragon. Because now I want to catch some fish. And this one has a tendency to catch fish. And other things don't catch fish. Fish on. There we go. Nice fish. Pike. Oh, oh nice pike. pike. Nice pike. Yeah. <laughs> on that David. Oh, did you see that jump? No, 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 I didn't. They did like triple turns. <laughs> Not 360, more like uh, 720. I have a wire leader on. So I think this is quite good pike. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. So fun fight on this light gear. Bring it in, bring it in. There we go. There go. That was so much fun. This was a little bit unexpected. I, I thought we would get more pike on uh, the shadow bait actually. But well now this is only one pike, so can't make any conclusions yet. Oh. But it fought so good. I hope you could see that on the GoPro. It did like a triple backflip <laughs> in there. This, this is why. This is why I mostly have started using wire leader when fishing for perch in pikey areas. Look at this. Would have snapped in a second if I was using four carbon. But with this uh, dart wire leader, works perfect. That's a decent so, pike. Yeah. Oh, you hear that? We have some something chasing in the surface again. So yeah. Fun pike. We're gonna unhook it and put it back and keep fishing. There we go. Oh, oh look at the colors. Yeah, <laughs> very beautiful pike. Awesome, super fun. Right, let's see if we can catch something more. Fish on! Nice perch, I think. Yeah. We'll see. Ah, it's an okay perch. No, it's, it's not, not that big. Not that big. Okay, so this is perch number 10. This dragon is just crazy for you know catching fish not necessarily the biggest ones that too but you know perfect size for catching good numbers so as all you guys probably know by now these lures can be found in the Canal Gales web shop you know canalgales.se all these perch lures that we've been using today as well as Hooligan Roach, Shark Shad, Nettel Juvenile and all these other lures that you see on the channel. But they can also be found in a number of different shops around Europe. We're also supporting the channel, spreading these lures and making all this possible. So huge thanks to this shop. 
Just to mention a few, we have Fischer.com in France, we have Moritz and Hechtum Bars in Germany, and uh, many more awesome shops. And if you also have a shop and want to sell these ones, for example this baby dragon that has been working great today, just send us an email on this link, we'll send you the catalog and all that stuff, and we'll take it from there. Yay! Fish on, shot a bit. Oh, good job. <laughs> on the shadow bait. Yeah, on the shadow bait. What the fuck, man? Oh. I think that. Yeah, second biggest of today, I think. <laughs> on the shadow bait. Yeah, on the shadow bait. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I think we can see a pattern now. A pattern. We sure can. Took it, I think I had a bite and then. Yeah. Lost it and then let the, the, the shadow bait sink a bit and then boom. Yeah, now we're starting to see a pattern, yeah. like I said. So, on that boomer. Yeah. What trailer do you have? Uh, and it's a V2Vib. Gunky to vib transparent. We went to New Bay here where we have a lot of wind pushing into the bay. Uh, and it seems to to make the perch uh, more active. And yeah, it took it. Yeah, and when those perch drop. are active, this is a perfect snack because yeah. it's easy to find for them. Exactly. And cool. also a really fun thing is that this is a little bit bigger. And we have two quite big fish and one also on the jig. But the biggest fish today, two biggest fish today, is on shadow bait. Yeah, that's just so crazy. We have much, much more fish on the on the jig, but shadow bait seems to be better for the bigger perch. Yeah, cool. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Really nice color on this one. Oh, oh look at that! Such Golden. beautiful perch. Look at these colors. Golden archipelago perch. Yeah. On the shadow bait. Yeah. Cool. So nice. There you go. How long this is. It's, oh, what? <laughs> it's, no, this perch is here, you see, 44. 44 centimeter perch, that's just crazy. What? <laughs> what? I didn't expect that. <laughs> nice condition, look at the color. It's almost golden. Oh yes. And yeah, it's above kilo, 1,190. <laughs> so, yeah, awesome. that's really nice. Good man. Another awesome fish on the shadow baits. Yeah. So that's an awesome, awesome, awesome archipelago perch once Four, again. Uh, 43 and a half, 44 centimeter, 1.1, uh, one, uh, 0, 90 yeah. on the boomer. Let's put it back. With a V2 wheel trailer, yeah, let's put it back. So another awesome fish yeah. on shadow bait. It's insane. The two biggest fish of the day by far. Yeah. Another cool thing that we just discussed is that actually on this exact spot where we caught or where Martin caught that fish, there, there was a guy fishing from the shore for several hours now yeah. when we've been fishing around this spot. Yeah. And he's been casting with a jig, caught some smaller fish as yeah. far as we could see, but he didn't catch that 45 centimeter perch yeah. or 44. Yeah. We just arrived to the spot. Yeah. Start casting where we where he had been casting yeah. and bam. He's been banging this spot yeah. really hard. I mean he, he was standing here for a long time. Yeah. And didn't catch it. So cool. Alright Martin, I think this will have to be the last cast of this morning. I think so. Time's up and we have a result. Yeah. For jig, eleven perch and two pikes for jig. Uh, for the shadow bait we have uh, four perch and uh, one pike. Yeah. But you should know that shadow bait caught the two biggest perch. Crushed it! Crushed it. 166 and 1 1.1 kilo. Of course it's hard to make any conclusions after just one day of yeah. fishing, but it really feels like the shadow baits pulled out these bigger fish. Yeah. We really put 50-50 of the time. Shadow baits got 50% of the time in the water today, soft baits got 50% and still the two biggest fish were caught on these shadow baits. And most of the time these soft baits work better in terms of you know, numbers fish, and yeah, bites numbers, yeah. and everything. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's been an absolutely awesome morning on the water. I mean, I, I'm, I'm still lost for words after catching that yeah, incredible. Insane. I mean, really nice perch. you told me how, how many perch of that size have you even heard of the last 10 years? Not many at all. 
one, two perch maybe in that yeah. size. Uh, and often they are catching in, in when you fish for pike on big lures. So this is really cool. Yeah, and again, Martin and Manuel have spent so much time on yeah. this water, you know, really doing everything right. So Martin should have caught that perch, <laughs> not me. But I, I'm, of course, I'm super grateful. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's so nice. Yeah, so nice. Super, super fun. Yeah. But yeah, that was it for today. Make sure to subscribe up here if you like what we do. And all the gear used in this episode can be found down here as always. And make sure to check our other challenges as well. Yeah. This, Bye guys. This day, this yeah. is a hug. Yeah. Okay. Lights out, guys. Yeah.